Okay, so very straightforward song, uh, good riddance, time of your life, Green Day. The chords, G, C add nine, just a D, E minor, and I think that's all the chords, but we'll, we'll hit them if I missed anything. But very straightforward, we're, we're not gonna do this note for note, it's really a great song, just a strum. Right, uh, we can go over the intro a little bit. Right. Uh, and I'm just kind of hitting bass notes and I'm coming up on that B string. All right, but let's get into it. Kind of, you know, again, and I did this song about three, four years ago on my channel, and I think five people saw it. So I'm going to do it again. Hopefully, we'll get it up to nine. Let's see what happens here, okay? So, we're, but the song starts off on that, you know, before that. Um, whether that was intentional or not, I don't know. But we're coming in on a G. So, G chord, and we're going to hit that bass note, that root note right there on the sixth string, third fret. What I do is I kind of hit the first two strings, I come up on the B to the G. All right? Then I go to the C add nine, same thing. So fifth string, fourth string, come up on the two and the three, all together. So two times on the G, one time on the C. All right? To the D. So I go four, three, two, three. And if, if the picking piece of it isn't for you, just strum it. And that's a good part of the song right there. So starts off on that, and the verse continues with that structure. Play it once. We're going to repeat. I'm pretty sure it's twice, um, and then we're going to go into the first change, which is going to the E minor. So what we're doing is we're going to the E minor, open, 2-2, two, two, open, 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 all the way down. And then we're just going to go to the, those same three chords, but we're reversing the order. D, C, G. Alright, so instead of doing this... part twice I sometimes and I don't think it's in the song but I do it if I'm solo acoustic I walk the bass line back to that E minor okay and then the next part and then so, so I go to the E minor to the G you're gonna play that twice and so, in the end so hang on. E minor again for the third time. To the D. Back to the original kind of rhythm picking pattern. And by the way, if you're playing these chords and you're picking the individual notes, you really can't hit a wrong note as long as you got the chord shape. Because you heard me hit that E string a couple times. It's not going to matter. Okay. Unless you are a perfectionist and different story, but we're talking campfire, just jamming, open mic. Just kind of mixing it up. All right. For the most part, that's your song. So we kind of went through the intro. You went through, you know. So intro, verse, twice with that, okay? And then... Pre chorus again, and I guess this is considered the chorus. I guess, and some and then back to that original uh, rhythm pattern. Everything repeats at that point. And if you know the song and you're listening to the song, those parts that we went over, you know it already. So, um, and it's really, I guess the song consists of four four parts. You've got that intro rhythm. All right. 
That's the first part of it, okay, which is just for the intro and the verse. The pre chord. All right, that's the third part, and then the next part being something unpredictable. And I believe that's the whole song, so it's just a matter of knowing those those parts and, and being comfortable with them and just plugging them in wherever you want to. I know that we, when I've done this acoustic recently, um, there are certain parts of that. Instrumental piece, and again, the instrumental piece is basically what we already know. And you can shorten that, make it longer, whatever works for you, depending on how you're, you're, you're gigging it. Um, and that's really it, and the, in, and the ending's gonna be the same as the intro. So at the end, that D has a bit of a tag on it. Something along those lines. All right, but again, this is a great song. And again, I've been talking about this a lot lately. Four chords, four chords you should be working on that are really open up uh, your playing in terms of just jamming music. Uh, G, C add nine, or a C, either one of them, the D and the E minor. Because there are, again, there are hundreds of songs. If you can play those chords right now, I mean, there are tons of songs you can you, you can play. Brown Eyed Girl. Uh, Every Rose Has a Storm, Tune Down a Half Step, the same thing. I Remember You, Skid Row, Sweet Home Alabama. Um, I mean, I'm drawing a blank right now. And then, of course, if you put a capo on, you've got more opportunity there. But... Um, Hopefully you like this one. You know, uh, let me know if you have any comments or requests in the comments section, and uh, we will go from there. We'll see you all later. Bye.